Yo, what's poppin' everybody? This is Sabre Fighting 4. Sorry for the long wait. I've got a TCG match with Rapid Strike Luxray and Octillery today. Uh, to put it bluntly, I've been editing the sound for the Team Up rotation video. I've got a bunch of uh, videos for the upcoming rotation coming, and they're gonna be really long. They're taking a long time to make. I'm still working on the first one, which is Team Up. It's not ready yet, but I just thought I'd update you guys today, and of course I do have a match in the meantime. We're going to see what's up with Luxray once again. I managed to get a third one of these, so now the deck is sort of a more complete, you could say. And my opponent is also playing the other Battle Styles archetype. Looks like it's Urshifu, Urshifu VMAX with Houndoom. And let's see if we can do anything. Uh, probably not, but we're going to try I have a decent opening hand at the very least, a very good hand actually. Got the double level ball, search our Pokemon, and I've got supporters in hand as well. So this, this is good, we're going to be able to get some good value with Corina here. Draw four cards, and quick balls as well, very good. I'll be able to get the Tabu Koko Prism turn one, uh, essentially. And let's see, uh, I guess... Let's just discard the other one too, discard the other Lightning Energy and get my plus. Uh, let's just go ahead and do this, keep the supporters. You never know, he might do something on the Tabu Koko Prism. I mean, I doubt it, he's, he's going to set up uh, as well. But let's just go ahead and gain, gain the effect, open up the space on my bench. Alright, so we've got three energies already. I mean, one of them is probably going to be sacrificed when he kills the Shinx there. But I am going to get the rear kick attack in anyway. So I guess if we manage to get the Luxray out next turn, I can hit the guy for 200 immediately. I won't even have to worry about Zigzagoon. But yeah, good opening turn. But it's up to what we can do next with uh, Corina or Marnie. Uh, he's got out the Urshifu VMAX already. And he can evolve the Houndooms as well if he gets them. Uh, the Dene GX is going to draw a few cards. Didn't use Marnie, but I suppose it makes sense uh, giving me free cards. You'd rather avoid that if you can. And Houndoom, the first one, is out. Gets the third energy. And it's really all he's going to need, to be honest. Uh, he doesn't need to use the big attack that does 270, because we only have 150 HP, Luxray. He can hit me for weakness, so just the 100 damage is going to do the trick. I mean... Even the additional plus from the single strike energies don't matter. So I have a disadvantage here because if he was forced to use the big attack, it would have been a different story, but it is what it is. Uh, let's put a damage counter on the other dude with Zigzagoon. And Corina did not give me what I need. I just needed one candy uh, in place of any of these cards besides the incense. Because I got the artillery out, we'll be able to get a search here, but I need the rare candy to attack, and I also needed an energy. So scratch what I said, we needed a bunch of things that we didn't get. So what should I do? I can't afford to waste the second attachment, the other lightning energies, just by to hit the dude for 20 damage. So what we're going to have to do is... Get the Stadium, Tower of Waters, and move the Shinx out of the way. So this is really bad because I'm being really passive. Another turn of not attacking. Like, ideally, I would have wanted to have the Stage 2 out and go for the big 200 attack. But we're just going to keep stalling. I promote the Zigzagoon there. And I didn't really want to play my Stadium out because I know he most more than likely has his own single strike Stadium that discards the special energies and draw cards and he might counter it against mine so I wanted to wait before I played that down but we didn't have a choice and now we get the hero candy okay so now I can get Luxray and get the first stage 2 out finally I mean it hasn't been that many turns it's pretty much my third turn I think but it's because he got set up so quickly and he already started attacking, it, it sort of forces you to retaliate as well. You know, we can't afford to be passive. And Marnie, 
I just basically need one energy here. And we didn't see it. Great. Fuck. So, I guess it's going to be another turn of not doing much. I mean, I can do the snipe attack. But I need to do some serious damage. Doing, for, for, doing 40 isn't going to cut it now. So, get the other Luxray out. Get the Luxio out as well. So, I guess I'm going to be good with these guys. But... I mean, at this point, even though I'm not given any extra prizes, he's not using Arceus. He's going to get his third KO once we finish here. And I'm not really doing much. I guess we're going to do Electro Step. Here's uh, 40 damage on the active one. And promote the Zigzagoon as another decoy once again. God damn it. Ah, it's really tough, man. It's really tough using the stage twos. Basically, any stage two that's gonna be an attacker, that's not just used for support like Porygon Z or something. They're just so difficult. Not even difficult. It's nearly impossible to use, cause they really just need more HP, stronger attacks, just more strength to be on par, you know, with the Vs. Uh, kind of like how, you know, the EX era used to be with the regular Pokemon and the EXs back then, you know. I mean, I'm sick of saying it. I've said it a billion times so far on this channel, but it's what they need. If they just keep doing what they're doing, they're still going to be printing them and they're still not going to be any good. They're just going to be filler. Um, people have talked a few times. I've seen like on, I think it was on Poke Beach or whatever, just... Uh, formats where it's just stage twos and stuff like that, like additional formats. That could have been a good idea. Um, depends on how they do it. But, I mean, if they were printing cards the right way and things were more balanced, it wasn't even going to be a need for something like that. You know, additional formats like just specific eras like XY, uh, Sun and Moon, stuff like that. I'm all for that. But it's not going to solve the problem for, you know, the stage 2s being completely outclassed. Stage 2s and stage 1s. Okay, so we managed to get an energy. I'm discarding the rare candy here because we're not going to evolve into any other dudes. Like, I'm going to have to get by with these three Lux Rays. Got the third one out. And that's it. I mean, he needs to take three prizes. I'm going to have to attack three times with these guys. And I'm probably not going to have the energies, but, you know, it is what it is. So, Scar Strikes, Scar Strike, uh, 200 damage, huge chunk, but not enough. And uh, I think even if I do everything that I can, I mean, we can get like the first KO, kill one of the VMAXs there, but I'm not going to be able to get a kill on the second one. So that's the story of our lives with these stage twos. I can't tell you how many times it happened. I mean, and, you know, getting, this, getting it close like this is actually good. Uh, in a way, it's the best we can hope for because I've played against matches where I, I spend the whole time trying to set up and they keep on killing me and I, you can't do shit. I mean, uh, playing against Dragapult VMAX... It's the best example. Like you're not even going to be able to do anything against those guys. Um, but okay, so he decided to switch, uh, discarded the energies. I mean, it's not really going to matter uh, because I've already decided that I'm going to kill the the VMAX to the spread with Zigzagoon. I, I can't afford to spend an attack on it if we're going to try and win here. So... Get the other Tower of Waters. And you know what? I think I'm just going to attach the... No, I'm just going to attach the regular Lightning Energy so we can make Eric alive. And draw a few cards. I see the other Zigzagoon. But we need one more damage counter. So... It's the one scoop up net that I have left. Hopefully, it's in the deck. So, 200 damage severely hurt the other one, too. And, I mean, we are pretty close. I mean, if only I could get another attack with Luxray, but we can't. 
And I don't know. I mean, was there anything else we could have done differently? Like, it's just, it's just too difficult, you know, trying to use a stage to, it's going to die in one shot. We only have one Tabu Coco Prism. There just isn't much you can do. So anyway, uh, top deck, the other is Ixagoon. Okay. I thought I used that one, but guess not. So we're going to kill the first VMAX, get my first three prizes at the end of the game. And if only I could make another big attack, but we can't. I can only just use uh, the first little snipe attack that just does 40. And I mean, just look at this shit, man. Look at this shit. It just does 40. Like, if it did a bit more, this could have been game. But they just keep giving these guys weak attacks. Ah, it's just not going to cut it. It's not, it's not enough to be on par with the VMAXs and the Vs. So anyways, it's basically a GG. I'm just playing cards just to play them here. We're just going to play the Marnie. And go for one final attack before I lose. Because we are going to lose here. But I guess at least I made it close. Uh, you guys saw this deck in action once again. I wanted to use it a bit more. Uh, since I didn't really show a lot of matches with it. But it just it just can't really work. You, you have to be really lucky. Your opponent has to brick really bad. If you're going to work. And get a good win I guess. So GG. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Share this video with your friends. And bear with me as I'm working on the rotation videos. Uh, bear with me with that. Say bro, final four. What say?